you're using a kind of cup that is not appropriate for the kind of breast that you have. It's your band riding up your back like a parachute. That's a no, 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 no. Properly fitted bras are both important for comfort and breast health. It is very, very easy to think that making no decisions whatsoever about the right bras that you wear comes with no price. Many bra-related issues have been overlooked by so many women, especially at the girl stage of a woman's life. In today's video, we'll be looking at key concerns related to bra fitting. We'll be looking at issues like bra measurement, signs of poor fitted bra, paying attention to the band, checking the straps, considering different bra styles and investing in good bras. Hello there, my name is Jobita Abala. This is a channel where we discuss everything woman, health, wellness, and everything, everything woman. So if this is what you've been looking out for, why not stick around and hit on the subscribe button and let us be a member of the same family. We can build this community together. So without further ado, let us get right into this video. If you don't know, well, ill-fitting bras have been associated with neck, back, and shoulder aches. Research has it that chiropractic and osteopathy study has it that 80% of women wear the wrong bra size. 70% of these women wear bras that are too small, while 10% of these women wear bras that are too big. Too extremes. It is not a new thing that finding the right bra can be difficult. We all know that because we go about trying all sorts of bras. Especially if you're buying from the market where you're dealing with somebody who just wants to sell and has no professionalism as far as the fitness is concerned. We have that, a lot of that in the black market. When I say black market, I mean just the normal market out there, you know, where somebody just wants to trade and earn money and is not even interested in any other thing concerning fitness or what. Or they don't have to convince you, at ah, this price, your size, it's your size. Can you not see it? It's your size. Did you not say size? So and so this. Did you not say? They just, they, just want to, they just want to sell. Various sources and individual complaints have cited pain and discomfort related to ill-fitted bras. Ill-fitted bras have been associated with neck, back, and shoulder pain. Rubbing and chaffing leads to skin abrasions. Ill-fitted bras also cause permanent changes associated with the body, such as deep groove in the body associated with the strap. You know, when you have this deep, uh, you know what a deep groove is now? <laughs> you have this deep groove in your shoulder. Have you ever seen a gutter before? You have to, when you have a road and there's a gutter in between, which is associated with a strap that just does not fit. Then number four, you have the rib cage pain. Number five is premature sagging, especially when you're wearing a bra that is absolutely not your size. And number six, bad posture. I find people walking like this, you know, because they're trying to gather up their breasts you know they don't have a good posture and have somebody and you think it's not guy the person is not able to put herself together because the breast is putting on a lot of pressure on her back probably because no most definitely because the bra is inappropriate for the person's breast size so number seven general discomfort and embarrassment imagine putting on a bra and it's spilling out from here and it's spilling out from there there are people who have such and they just don't care but there are health implications associated with not wearing the right bra so that brings us to the big question how do you measure your bra all you need in order to measure your bra size accurately is just a measuring tape and a mirror and that is all so i have here my tape and you're going to be my mirror <laughs> i don't have a mirror here so the number one thing you have to do i'll be working with my inches if you're in a country where you work with um centimeter that'll be fine but i'll be working with inches so first of all you have to measure your bra size excuse me by putting this around your rib cage this will be affecting me but you know what to do right so that you can be able to see it around your rib cage note you should always make sure you take it to the nearest whole number so if you have something like 50, um let me know you 15 there's no there's no <laughs> there's no um, size like that let's just say 30 32 and you have, say, 
32.3 if it's 32.3 stick to 32 but if it's 32.5 32.6 then you should be talking about 33 right so you're taking it to the nearest whole number remember that you have hook and eyes to always help you achieve the exact number you're looking for so you take it to your rib cage measure it make sure it goes to the nearest number nearest whole number so you have to be as firm as possible put a finger behind it like this can you see me you put a finger behind it like this like this in case you can't see me properly i hope you can see me just a finger behind the tape and make it as tight as possible with that finger behind the tape like i said earlier make sure you get to the nearest whole number and it hugs your rib you breathe out and breathe in when you breathe out it will give you the exact number you're looking for if did i say breathe out no when you breathe in <laughs> like this you get the exact number you're looking for even though there's going to be an elastic band as well as a hook and eye at the back to give you the exact adjustment that you want just get the exact number so that it will be firm on its own okay so when you're done with that and you find out that you're comfortable is the exact number Hmm? the next thing you're going to do is check your bust size this way this way yeah. make sure it gets to the nearest whole number right when you're done with this and you've gotten the, the size that you want, whew, the next thing to do is to minus the number you got from your rib from the number you got from your breast size. Do well to wear a bra to do that. But if you have a firm breast, good for you. You don't need to wear a bra to do that. So you're going to minus the number you got from your rib that's under your breasts after breathing from the number you got by measuring the top of your breasts now if that is gotten and we are ready then we are ready to know the cup size to give you a recap you're measuring your rib first then you measure the fuller part of your breast ensuring that the tape is leveled and not tight and that's the reason why I'm putting the finger behind the tape. Then the next thing we have to do is subtract what we got here from what we got here. That number is what you use to know your cup size. Then in the case where you call this cup, cup A, cup B, cup C, this is what you're talking about. You're talking about the subtraction. But mind you, this still remains what it is. The rib size still remains the number while the alphabet is what you get by subtracting the rib from the full cup measurement i hope we have that figured out if your number turns out to be zero say you are just one little baby girl and your number turns out to be zero by subtracting both that's the top and the top of the breast is the same thing as your as your as your rib uh, measurement that means you're using an aa cup if your difference is an inch then you're using an a cup your cup is an a so there's a difference between a a and a your cup is an a cup if your difference is two you're using a b cup if your difference is three that's three inches you're using a c cup if your difference is four inches you're using a d cup if your difference is five you're using a d d cup a d d cup can also be known as an e cup depending on the country where the bra is coming from and if your number is six inches that's if the difference between this and this is six inches you're using a d d d cup which is the same thing as an f cup if your number is seven that means you're using a g cup no it doesn't go as far as d d d d <laughs> the d stops there so to give you further illustration if your the top of your breast your full breast size is 38 inches and your rib cage size is 34 inches that means what you're going to do is 38 minus 34 and then you have four you're using a 34 
D bra. So that should be your exact bra. So if you've come thus far and you like this video, then that means someone else out there would like it too. So give us a thumbs up and share, share, share for people to grab this knowledge, help a sister out there. And if you're yet to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and let's get on with business. What are the signs of a poorly fitted bra? Number one, strap digging. When your strap, your shoulder strap starts digging into your skin, those women tend to hang their hands, maybe kind to support their breast with their hand. They don't have a, a very good posture. It's not deliberate. But whenever this happens, it means the band is too big. The band is not your size and the strap is tight because the band is not your size. You're trying to hold the strap to be as strong as possible so that you can get the right support. This is not good for your shoulder and it's most definitely not good for your back. Number two is your band riding up your back like a parachute. That's a no, 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 because you definitely have back aches. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning this the second time is there are people who just don't care. They feel the bra is their size. They just, they just wear it. They just, they just wear it. It's not your size. Avoid a bad posture. Newsflash, it can also make your breast go saggy. Number three is overflowing cup. You're using a kind of cup that is not appropriate for the kind of breast that you have. There are certain kind of cups that are called um, molded cups. I was trying to remember the name. <laughs> molded cups. They are not elastic. They are made of maybe strong materials, lace and all that. Those molded cups are better appropriate for your breasts. If it is made based on the shape of your breast, it would fit. But if it's not made of the shape of your breast, it's either you have your breast peeling over because your breast is bigger, or you have your breast just sinking into it and there is a lot of space. So avoid bras like that, except it's especially made for you. And if you have to do things like tucking in your breast from the cleavage area, like tucking it in or trying to push it in from this side and push it in from that side, that means the bra is not your size. <laughs> Number four is gapping cup. If your bra is gapping, it means it's obviously too big. There shouldn't be space. Your bra should grip you. It should give you comfort and a grip, a healthy grip, not a grip that suffocates you. Your bra should not have any gaps, whether here or in the cup or anywhere. It's no use wearing a bra if your bra is gapping. Your boobs may sag and you might lose your confidence. Back bulges. You know, when you put on your bra and your flesh is bulging out from the corner of your back, this extra flesh behind you, it happens to some ladies. That means that your bra is too tight and that is unhealthy for you. So is it that your strap is too tight because the strap is mainly the culprit by the time it sinks into your shoulder here, it's going to bulge behind. So you have to avoid that. It is better to have a full strap than something that is tiny and tight. This can actually be seen through clothes, especially when you're wearing a cloth that is tight. Number six is underwire digging in. If this happens, it means the bra cup is too small. It shouldn't dig into your breasts. It shouldn't be hanging on your breast for any reason. So it means the bra cup is either too small or the band is too tight. If it is small, it is small. There's nothing you do. If you take it down, your breast will bulge out. If you take it up, it's gonna be on top of your breast and it will make you unhealthy. Paying attention to your bra straps. How do we pay attention to our bra straps? The bra strap helps to support the weight of the breast and helps to keep the bra in place. But every woman needs to know the following. Number one, adjusting the bra strap. You should adjust the bra strap to the right length not so tight you just want it to snug on your skin and not become so tight to the extent that you become uncomfortable loose bra straps may not provide the right support you're looking for but if they are tight they are going to dig into your skin and make you very uncomfortable so make the bra straps to snug on you and not become so tight number two check slippage 
your bra straps should be firm on your skin and not fall off your skin it shouldn't slip off your skin so if you have a bra that's like that there are certain bras that are like that that the adjustable or the 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 adjustments is usually at the back and could be like a length of this just at the back not extended towards this place there is usually a cloth that more like a fabric blocking it and you have just this so if you buy a bra like that and on testing it you get to the end of the adjustments and it is not your size it means that bra is definitely not your size don't buy it and if you have it at home you always not be comfortable because it's going to keep slipping off except you decide to use a pin or you decide to sew it with your machine or your needle and thread to you know change the more like cut and change the the size that's the only way you can do that and even when you do it you still will not get the originality so you just don't buy it in the first place it's best to get another bra design bra spillage means the band is either too big or is too loose number three ensure your straps are even i know a breast is bigger than the other especially the one on the left is bigger than the other but it is not so noticeable even though some people have it as extremely noticeable but when you are trying to adjust the strap make sure they are even otherwise you will definitely feel it that you're uncomfortable and if you become comfortable with your discomfort you are heading for a bad posture and that bad posture will definitely cost you pain number four look out for indentations or stretch marks on your skin it is advisable to get a bra with a wide strap or a padded strap number five consider your bra type when you are buying a bra there are different types so just ensure that it is suitable for comfort for looks and for fitting so the bras that you buy should be peculiar to you and to the occasion that you need it for so make sure you buy the bra that is well suited for you different bras have different straps so ensure to adjust your bra based on the style of the bra it could be convertible, it could be racer back, it could be what not not. Make sure you are comfortable and you get the fitting you're looking for. So that will be all for now. I hope you've learned a lot and I'm so glad to bring us this knowledge. Yes, I'm so glad. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. <laughs> so if you're happy and you're yet to subscribe, hit on the subscribe button and hit on the notification so you don't miss out on more videos. In our next video, we'll be talking about considering the different kinds of bras and other things you need to know as far as the bra and the breast is concerned. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Remain blessed.